Hello everyone, and welcome back to Geek News. Get ready as we take a look at the unbelievable detail G.I. Joe classified Cobra Eel in jaw-dropping hand shots. All right, this one is actually looking really good. So it says here, shown below via JB, special shout out to you for dropping these photos for us, is an in-hand look at the G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Eel figure from Hasbro. And of course, this is definitely based off more of the 1985 Cobra Eels here, as we can kind of see here. And just to kind of get a refresher of what the vintage one looked like. And that's what I've always called them was Cobra Eels with the plural S, because that's what it would have said on his file card. And it looks really good. So we'll get a quick peek here and see the comparison with the in hand of the G.I. Joe classified version. So as we kind of take a look here, we've got Cobra Eel is looking really good. And yeah, I mean, this looks really fantastic. And this is, of course, over here at Radical Toys, is my favorite G.I. Joe character in all G.I. Joe's universe. This is my number one favorite. Looking pretty sweet. So I'm going to have to get this one when he shows up over here on the Canadian side. So, I mean, he's got the helmet going on here and it's removable. So awesome. And he does have the backpack there that you can kind of see. And he's got the harpoon shot as well. So that looks really good. And I'm happy that they did go with the flippers that are in black. If we kind of take a look here at the vintage one once again, the flippers were black indeed. So spot on. Really nice stuff. Nice motif of gray and red. And of course, the white insignia of the Cobra logo there. And a nice little close-up shot. Here we go. As we kind of look on down, you can kind of see that he's got the ankle piece there for the knife. And yeah, I mean, the flippers look like they slide in really nice and looks like they stay put. So it looks really nice. Very good close-up of the face. So, of course, the face is going to be with the little black kind of mask going on there. So it looks kind of cool. So it's, it's nice how they did it. And the helmet looks good as well. So you can kind of see like the see-through visor going on there, which what you would expect to see in the classified line. There it is with the helmet on top of the character there. So lots of, a few different paint apps going on there. You can kind of see some like gold going on here. The helmet looks fine as well. So, I mean, yeah, this is really, really shaping up. So I expect to see uh, some U.S videos and now i know there is a video out there of all toy reviews so i will put the link in the description it, it is uh, keep in mind that it is in dutch and in german but at least you can kind of watch it get a good look of what it looks like because it looks really good so i expect to see some more reviews of this guy uh if not by the time i post this video anyway guys that's it for your news today just thought i'd drop this and see whether or not you guys had uh, got this guy on pre-order or not and whether you're going after him he just looks really good so there you go guys anyway that's it for today and we'll see you guys on the next one so you guys take care and until next time